Alright guys, how to go back again today, hope you all are doing well and enjoying your day so far and the World Championship has finally arrived. A long couple of weeks no doubt, but it's finally here. By the end of this weekend, a champion will indeed be crowned. Who will it be? That's for us to decide in the comment section of today's video, but also close to with a bit of spice going on behind the scenes at the land event with the Minnesota Rocker in terms of who is not turning up to scrims on time. In truth, your thoughts in the comment section below. Like if you guys enjoyed the video, subscribe if you were new as always. I greatly appreciate it. Everybody else on the channel, thank you very much indeed for doing that, of course. What a cracking season we've had. So many phenomenal moments, so many surprising moments, and uh, well, it all comes to a conclusion this weekend. Who will take home the championship? It's tough to say. FaZe, of course, they've been the dominant team this entire season, but going into this weekend, would I pick FaZe or would I pick anyone but FaZe to win? I'd pick anyone but FaZe. I'd pick the field. I think that right now this tournament is um, very much up in the air. We saw the crazy stuff that happens at the Stage 5 Major. Hopefully more to come. In front of fans, I'm pretty sure every single day. Kicking off, uh, obviously, not too far from today. So, play like a champ, look like the champ with the Seedale coming into play. We've got the championship pack landing in Call of Duty Black Ops Card War. Thought this was kind of interesting, right? We've got a few things right here. The AK-47 blueprint, the Tundra Weapon blueprint, which I mean, well, I guess by the time people are actually realistically buying and using this pack, it's going to be after Champs concludes. So um, it's kind of understandable maybe they'd have these weapons in. But at the same time, the AK and the Tundra, both weapons that are GA and not used in competitive play, kind of like with the XM4 blueprint that came out a few days ago. It's like, okay, why are we not putting actual, you know, weapons that the pros are going to be using at Champs in the game that you get in the Champs pack? But um, regardless, some pretty cool stuff in here as Glacer says better on land guy looking at kind of familiar so there's a couple of emblems you guys can see that I'll bring up on screen and um you can see this better on land once it's kind of like Clayster to be honest throwing up the choke side this is a kind of a classic Clayster um if you put a silhouette to this you could probably say it was Clayster even without seeing some of the features and then the online warrior one as well who of course at Dallas Empire were kind of taking that crown last year when they won the online world championships can they go back to back it's um it's going to be a hard task no doubt so of course they play the Minnesota Rocker first rounds we will indeed look at exactly what the bracket looks at here in a few minutes time but um yes we we'll looked at yesterday and also maybe today also a little bit Minnesota Rocker maybe not looking quite as strong as they were just a couple of weeks ago now at the stage five major so to continue the thread of what Clayster has to say I thought this is pretty hilarious you know oh Paco it's your first time that being Hydra of course in Los Angeles right we should have went to you know Santa Monica Pier or something that's in GTA I've already said it says Paco apparently yeah accuracy saying that attacks had a similar thing the first time he ever went there and even lives in Los Angeles right so yeah GTA rules all you don't need to actually go play in real life if you've been there on GTA apparently and um, apparently there's also been some pretty entertaining stuff happening behind the scenes as JP Craig says he's the analyst for the New York Subliners the CDL needs a 24-7 live stream of the pro player area these mid scrim conversations through the curtains are straight to comedy may need to run a flank on the go go live from my phone it says zoom in reply so could be some entertaining stuff I'm sure there are some entertaining things happening behind the scenes maybe including this that Clayster says yesterday so Minnesota Rocker torching my time on land I'm disgusted about it please send tweets to study that he is a dream. So obviously a, a little bit tongue in cheek, but at the same time, maybe I'm kind of frustrated about this situation because you've got pro players who are turning up to a LAN environment. They, you know, it's time to scrim, it's time to practice, right? You've not got too long until the tournament actually kicks off. And generally you want to scrim teams that you're not going to be playing, right? So Dallas are not going to be playing against the Minnesota Rocker in practice in these last, you know, couple of days because they're playing them in the very first round. So it's the likes of New York who are going to play the team like Minnesota Rocker, which have yeah, less, less chance to play them all the way until the winner's final. So Optic are not going to be playing New York. York. New York have to find other scrims to play. Rocker don't want to play um, Dallas. They also probably don't want to play Toronto because they're going to play up against them next if they do win against Dallas. So there's a few teams they don't want to scrim. So therefore, there's not an incredible amount of pickings of teams you actually can scrim against. But um, for whatever reason, Rocker seem to be turning up late to this one. Clays are not particularly happy about it. And you know, we talked about yesterday, some pros saying that Rocker have been kind of getting bodied in scrims of late. Now, whether that's different when they go to scrim on LAN, even, even then though, I'm pretty sure the guys were saying before that PC doesn't have the same like proper LAN feature as the consoles did back in the day. So you're kind of playing online, but in the same venue if you are scrimming in this situation. I think if you're playing on main stage, that is like proper LAN. But um, it's still kind of strange. But yeah, it, it's certainly better than nothing. But yeah, as Stanley says in reply, I'm gutting you right now, buddy. Sheesh, how did that work out? I don't know if he's saying like, you know, we bodied you for the rest of the series or something. It's kind of tough to say. But um, then he says, still can't gummy. So maybe Stanley was doing well. Maybe the rest of the guys getting kind of smoked. I don't know. But um, interesting, right? Because a couple of days before everything kicks off, apparently like New York have been one of the teams. People 
people have been saying behind the scenes have been looking really good in practice since Clayster came back and um, Rocker have been the complete opposite right so interesting to see that kind of juxtaposition come to fruition right here Clayster's in reply and you still like, cannot guard me so maybe a nice rivalry to look at on the weekend not going to be so straightforward for these two teams to match up but it could well happen and so even this comes out from Brian Tate the coach of the Rocker of course aren't you all the team who showed up 45 minutes late to our scrim at Sunday because the team was getting a haircut so apparently um, yeah, just a few days ago they were getting ready to go and see was getting a haircut and therefore they showed up late why am I catching strays by first late all year says the team so yeah apparently everything's okay but of course he catches the stray on the timeline you know they're talking about online scrims can't be there in person on time this is a mad one so Trey kind of calling out Rocker and saying look if you can't turn up in person for these actual um, yeah, on land scrims that's a bit different to an online scrim a few days ago but yeah still kind of spicy no doubt with these teams kicking off their action later today and potentially the bracket could line up these guys play each other who knows but yeah always I love these indications on like how teams are potentially playing and a um, little bit of spice and uh, drama going into the weekend no doubt when um, things are about to kick off now I thought this is very interesting that uh, well Carl points out right here but also Sim Eagle put on the reddit once again that I was going to mention because I talked about this last time for the stage 5 major and um, well I'll, let's just be honest none of it really came to fruition so effectively this is using like an elo rating and figuring out what the percentage odds are of teams to win based on that elo rating now um, of course phases elo is very high indeed based on their phenomenal performance this entire season but I'm sure it's gone down somewhat after their stage 5 major performance going into now to champs so um, I'm pretty sure last time they were like I don't know what their win percentage was but it was very high indeed this time it's a little bit less but still maybe higher than I might expect so this is what um, technically the elo and, and the odds kind of tell you on the season I don't think this necessarily represents the reality of the situation I think things are going to be a lot more competitive than this you've got to consider the crowd factor and the pressure factor and all this type of stuff as well which maybe affected a team like FaZe at the stage 5 major but this is what the simulation says over 1.5 million sample size in terms of um, you know, who wins the tournament so Florida win this tournament 0.1% of the time Los Angeles Thieves win it 0.2% of the time so it's naturally not impossible it's just um, it's just pretty unlikely these teams also to make a run are pretty unlikely also so Chicago are third favourites here actually at a 5.8 win percentage but 40 odd percent chance of getting to the top 3 but Toronto and Atlanta are actually very likely to do that at least in theory because um, these are the two teams that have the buy in the winner's bracket anyway so it certainly does give them a massive leg up if you see this in terms of the simulation getting that buy means you don't have to worry about getting knocked down in winners round one and um, having to fight through the gauntlet to the lower bracket even if you do lose your winners round two you still have a chance to make the lowest bracket run because um, yeah, there's still you know you have to win less matches right in the lower bracket if you want to make that happen so clearly a big advantage here interesting really Minnesota to go back to back in a 3.6% win chance in theory Dallas to go back to back in terms of world championships even less than that and New York Clayster to go back to back to back is even less chance than that so I'm not quite sure how this will play out in reality but there's many more factors of course than just ELO rating going into the tournament wanted to bring up a couple of lion man cards then before we finish out the video so these are scum ones on the entire season i think that his ratings are slightly slower than it got slightly lower than they could be because uh, maybe engagement stats but also because um i think it's something to do with like uh, you get boosts for when you actually place particularly well so if they were winning events like they get a plus eight boost or something in terms of the lion man like overall points so that's probably why these numbers are slightly lower than they could be but these last couple of stages scum has been very good indeed green's pretty much across the board right here but someone who of course um, has been pretty devastating that's being simple i mean look at stage one he had a 99 overall because yeah he gets like the plus eight overall based on the placements that he's at but yeah i mean these kds are absolutely absurd uh, the only time he had a negative kd in a single game mode in the stage was actually search and destroy in stage two which is kind of funny because he had a 1.65 in stage one and then um yeah fell off in stage two to some degree kind of a reminiscent really of when attach had a, a, a like a 0.5 kd in search in stage four and then last stage had a 1.4 so you know anything can really happen going into the world championship that is why we love it these are the previous winners freak went back complexity denial e Sports, Team Envious, Optic Gaming, Evil Genius, is Ian United, Dallas Empire last year in 2020. Who will take the crown at this time round? One of these eight teams on screen will do it right here. This is the bracket. Optic plays Subliners. Winner of that plays FaZe. They go on to the winner's final. On the other side of the winner's bracket, Empire play Rocker. Winner of that plays Ultra. They also move on to the winner's final. So whoever wins that series. And then Mutineers and Thieves. Danner is kind of the, the wild cards, dark horses. They're starting in the lower bracket. Mutineers will play the loser of Optic Subliners. Then Thieves will play the loser of Empire versus Rocker and all those first games on the far left hand side of your screen will indeed happen later today which is quite remarkable this is the situation Empire play Rocker first up Optic then play Subliners after that then the loser of the first series plays Thieves loser of the second series plays Mutineers and that closes out the day so by the end of the day we will only have six teams remaining here at the World Championship who will they be that is for you guys to decide in the comment section below just to finish off with this clip this is another legendary one from um, way back at 2013 Call of Duty Championships the original I've really sure a Benson called at the $20,000 round of search
search and destroy. It's, um, it's complexity versus Optic Gaming as it was at the time. This is to knock complexity out of the tournament. Skunk makes a pretty remarkable play. And um, just another legendary moment in COD history. Thought I'd throw this back for you guys if you are, well, relatively new to the scene. Enjoy your thoughts on all this in the comment section below. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did enjoy it, I'd greatly appreciate a like on the video. Really upset that you're about good to know you enjoyed this content. Other people like you may enjoy this content as well. And I'm great the competitive Call of Duty community. Thank you for watching as always. Take care. And I will see you next time. This is it right here. This, this is, is a $20,000 round. I've set you destroy. Oh Just man, I know you were that. I know you were waiting to say that. I was dude. waiting to say that, dude. I know you were waiting five, to say five. that. Five five, we called this two two, best of five, last round, last map. Search and destroy standoff. We have optic gaming going up against complexity, still four rounds. And complexity is attacking. Yep. Keep that in so mind. To mention. They're gonna be oh, going towards man. this A sorry, the B bomb Here site. Here comes the smoke, and now the plant. TP needs to, but look at Optic Gaming adapting all those blue oh, arrows. They, but out. they saw the smoke, they knew Bomb what's gonna coming. Go down. Bomb this is going to go it. down. It is about to go down. Four seconds left. What can Optic Gaming do? Complexity have done so well to get that bomb down. TP's going to be on the screen here. As you can see, three members of Optic Gaming all crowding around this B bomb site. TP's going to do everything that he can. TP's going to put some shots down. He's going to be able to take one out. No, Big he does not. Up. Big T's going to be there for the clutch. Let's see if Big T can continue to follow this one up. But Crim6 is going to be there to take out Nate's shot. It is going to be a 3v3. And Big T's going to have that assistance here from Scum. But now it is going to come down to Ace. Hey, and out. Optic Gaming is moving on. Big. They're moving on to the top three. Oh my God, Benson. Scumpy with the three piece when it matters most. That oh. is why we call him one of the best players on the game right there. Oh my forget, god. Forget he was playing. He had two kills before this round. <laughs> he just hit three. Wow. Oh my the lord. The Jija Ninja with you the kills. Couldn't. Scumpy just goes big. Look at that kill count. Look at it. Look that at is, it. Bow down ridiculous. before this young man.